Fighting the World is the fifth studio album by the heavy metal band Manowar. I wanted to say power metal for some reason, but well, they kind of are, but not really. They're more classic heavy metal in my opinion, but they're kind of power metal inspired early power metal, but whatever. I don't really think that they are, so let's just go with heavy metal for sake. Uh, you know, for a lack of bad for a lack of a better name, so there we go. Um, Manowar, I was never really a big fan of Manowar. This is requested by Rockdo, who is, I think, a fan of Manowar. I think I've heard him spoke about Manowar. He likes the band, he's a fan, I believe. You know, otherwise he wouldn't request his arms, so there we go. Well, you know, some fans request bad arms for, to get a kick out of that, you know, but, you know, looking at you, Steven Young. Fucker. Um, but yeah, this is their fifth album, like I said. It was recorded between 1986 and 1987. It's 34 minutes long, 48 seconds. Uh, it's heavy metal, power metal, kind of early wave of power metal, you know. I have no idea about that genre, you know, the power metal, so don't ask about it. I'm not a really big fan, but I think that uh, Man of War did a good thing here. Um, the power metal thing does kind of drive them in a way, you know, because it does, um, you know, drive them on kind of a kind of speed, kind of speed metal kind of way. They're not speed metal per se, but they're kind of like a faster wave of heavy metal. And I think that the power metal genre does help them be a bit more ridiculous in what they're doing. Uh, so I think it doesn't really damage the music, honestly, because I think that power metal, it's not really for me. But I do think that Man of War does implement it right into their music. You know, it's, it is a little bit present because the thing that they're doing is kind of ridiculous, so it needs a little bit of power speed metal. But they're not overusing the thing, so I do like how much they implement into their music. Not too much, not too less, just the right amount in my opinion. We have the title track, Fighting the World, which is an okay track. Well, it, it is better than okay, it is pretty good, it's, it's almost four minutes long. Um, yeah, I didn't really have like a really notable kind of difference between some of the songs. They are relatively the same. The title track is pretty good, so if you want to start out with Manowar, then start with the title track right there. Pretty typical Manowar, it is pretty heavy, it is pretty uh, catchy as well. Kind of starts off with a nice instrumentation, later goes into a more kind of thriving, kind of speed metal-ish kind of flow, and then ends it on a typical Manowar stylish uh, ending, you know. Um, and if you know the band, then you know exactly what I mean. Then we have Blow Your Speakers, and this song just basically is there to just to show how ridiculous Manowar is. Um, yeah, this song. Well, I do like it because, you know, it is kind of a typical Man of War song. Uh, it is a bit, a little bit less serious than the oh, than the title track, honestly. Uh, good track. I think it is a little bit too over the top for me. Uh, the instrumentation and just everything out there, you know, the blow your speakers kind of lyrics are kind of ridiculous to me. But that's the whole fucking point of Man of War. So you either get it or you fuck off, you know. And I just still dig it, so there we go. And then we have Carry On, which is just kind of a lesser or kind of a, not per se lesser, but just kind of a simpler kind of song, you know, it takes it back to a more classic heavy metal style. I do like the style of Man of War and I do like that they implement it on, on that song here. Uh, good choice. Um, yeah, you know, it does, uh, the, the track does make Man of War a little bit more diverse, you know, they're not really that diverse, but this song... The, it is a standard on this track and it is pretty good in my opinion, so there we go. And then we have Violence and Bloodshed and you know already, you know, you read this title and you know, yeah, this is just classic Man of War right here, you know, talking about uh, just fighting the war and being a man and just, you know, heavy metal and all that stuff, you know. It is just classic Man of War, I cannot really describe it outside of that, it's four minutes long, it's pretty much a classic of Man of War, so there we go. Then we have Defender, which is the um, this is the centerpiece of the record. Uh, this track is six minutes and five seconds long. It's the longest song of the record. It's kind of the epic, you know, uh, the Defender kind of being the defender of whatever, you know, the the fortress, the castle, I guess. 
the defender of fate. Uh, wait, I'm talking about a better album. Huh? Um, but uh, this is a pretty good. This is a pretty good song. I would say it is probably the best song so far. It is just very anthemic, very heroic as well. Very good lyrics on this track too. Um, I do really like every instrumentation on this track. Uh, very powerful stuff. It is very very thriving. I like the guitar solos on here. Uh, very powerful song, and it was pretty enjoyable for me. And then we have Drums of Doom. This is just kind of a and anticipation song for uh, for Holy War, which is the seventh song, and that reminds me of another song. I think we all know what song I mean with that. Maybe it was an inspiration because this song preceded it. But there we go. Yeah, there we go. Um, I believe preceded, you know, before. Doesn't matter. Holy War. Yeah, it is probably my favorite song on the album outside of the last one. Um, very epic track, great guitar solos, um, just very great vocals on this track. It's, it's, you know, they scream but they don't overdo it. Uh, it's just a perfect mix of just ridiculousness, uh, power metal, you know, the driving force, the title was great, you know. Um, it's, it's just an epic track. It's just an epic track. I did really dig it. Uh, it's pretty good and... Yeah, it is probably my second favorite of the album. It is pretty good, but uh, yeah, then we have of course the two final songs, which is Master of Revenge, and I'm saying final two because Master of Revenge is kind of a build up to Black Wind, Fire and Steel, which is arguably the best song of the album. Uh, just very epic instrumentation. I believe there's an acoustic guitar in here somewhere too, or I'm pulling things out of my ass. Pro I'm probably pulling that acoustic ass out of my ass. So there we go. I don't know what I'm on about, but this song is kind of more mellow, kind of more moody. Um, I do really like that it is a bit more diverse. It later goes on into a more heavier vibe. I do enjoy that too. My computer falls out, falls out for some reason. Uh, very epic track. It just ends it on a high note and just kind of fades out relatively, um, just relatively peaceful, relatively moodly. Like any war would end, you know, with a lot of dead people and just a lot of, you know, um, well, ominous kind of sounds, kind of a empty feeling. Uh, don't pretend that I have an empty feeling inside, but it, uh, Black Wind Fire still just feels like, you know, the ending of just an epic war that you had and just a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of people died, but you did succeed it. You are uh, the victor, so it is kind of a bittersweet song, you know. In, in the best way possible, so there we go. Uh, this was a very good album. Um, it did exceed it, it did exceed my expectation because I just, you know, I thought all oh, power metal and uh, men of war so ridiculous and over the top. I probably will not like them. I didn't really dig this album, it had good guitar solos. Um, yeah, if I, if I do have, if I do have a complaint, I do think that, um, well, most of these songs are really good. Really. Yeah, this is actually a relatively good album. Yeah, I was expecting like to give this album an 8 or something, but I did relatively enjoy every song on this album, so who knows. Fighting the World was great, Blow Your Speakers was the single, very catchy, Carry On was a, was a good one, kind of diverse. Violence and Blood, Bloodshed is just classic Man of War, Defender is epic, Drums of Doom is kind of a good build up to Holy War, which is fantastic, Master of Revenge is great, or it is kind of a, kind of a grandiose um you know build up to the epic closure black wind fire and still so overall i did not really have a problem with this album the album cover looks really chill uh, looks really cool kind of ridiculous but that's kind of the point of metal war i don't really have a, f a flaw with any of these songs i did really dig the whole album the guitar solos were really good the drums were really flashy and really um good produced the only real complaint i have with this album is probably that I don't hear any bass, That's, that is pretty much uh, a flaw with like every metal band ever, well, every underproduced metal band. Uh, but this was a great album, I did really enjoy it, so I'm gonna give this album a 9.4. Really great album, um, I don't see myself becoming a real big Manowar fan because they're just kind of too ridiculous for me, but this album is really good right here. So, uh, you can request more Man of War stuff, 9.4, really great album. Uh, let me know what you think about it in the comments down below, hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, let me know 
yeah, what I just said, like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see this live as well. And let me know what you want me to do next. More metal war, more metal, pop, rock, rap, electronic, you know, you can say it and I will do it. Uh, or we can discuss it at least. So let me know in the comments down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.